The introduction of a disabled character in sex education definitely stirred some buzz. You don't laugh much, do you? But did you know that Isaac's health condition is based on that of the actor who plays him? That's right, 24-year-old George Robinson is paralyzed in real life too. So what happened? And how did the actor cope with his new reality? And we'll also find out what he thinks about shooting those intimate scenes. I think that's really important culturally and it's nice to, to be able to portray that. Before starting his acting career, George was into sports. He played rugby in a school team. And once, he went to play a game in South Africa. Unfortunately, it ended tragically for the young man. While attempting one of the maneuvers, George injured his spine really badly. He was immediately rushed to the hospital, where he stayed in the ICU for almost 40 days. And then he spent about five weeks at another hospital in Cambridge. Despite all the care and efforts made by the doctors, little could be done about his condition. George remained tetraplegic, which means that he lost mobility in all of his limbs. It's no wonder that his disability made Robinson question his existence. What was he going to do with his life? And how could he be happy if he was no longer able to move from the neck down? Obviously, George couldn't continue his career in sports, so he started thinking about whether he should go for his other passion, acting. But who would want to hire a disabled actor? At least, that's what George used to believe. I finished my final year of school and considered trying for drama school, but at that time I wasn't really sure of myself and of myself as a performer. So I decided to go to university to study philosophy, Robinson shared. But then he talked to his family and friends, and other people who had similar disabilities. George received a tremendous amount of support from all of them. He kept on acting at university as it helped him find his place and adjust to his new reality, until he finally decided to just go after his dream, come hell or high water. Sex education was only the second audition George had ever done, and we all know how it went. After getting the role, Robinson put his university studies on hold to devote all of his time to being on the set, and he couldn't dream of a more inclusive and nurturing environment for himself. The sex ed writers even changed the script for him. You see, Isaac was initially written as an amputee, but the writers were open to changing it based on the actor's disability. George was extremely grateful to the sex ed crew for including him in the process of creating Isaac. I still wanted to be a part of that collaborative atmosphere, Robinson said. And you probably want to know what George thinks about Isaac since he's such a controversial character. The actor even received hate messages after the second season's cliffhanger ending. Well, it just means that he plays his part really well because George is nothing like Isaac in real life. And yet, he has learned a lot from his character, especially in terms of self-confidence. I feel that sometimes I can be chasing other people's approval, but Isaac is more than happy to just be in the moment and live his true self. It's taught me a lot more self-assurance, Robinson said. Besides, Robinson's role in sex ed is so much more than just another representation of a disability in a show. His role isn't built around the drama and tragedy of his health condition. Isaac is just as nuanced as any other character in the show. Isaac's not this angelic figure that always does the, the loveliest things. He feels real. And watching George act, sometimes you actually forget that he's disabled. That's what's so important for him about this part the unapologetic breaking down of tattoos surrounding disability. But there was still a challenge that lingered for a while, intimacy in his real life and also filming intimate scenes. For George, it was a personal worry for a while, especially since he joined a series focused on sexual relationships. After all, he had to rediscover his body and find out how everything worked after his injury. But the actor dealt with this challenge and realized an important thing. As soon as you find someone you want to share intimacy with in an understanding atmosphere, then everything is all right, he shared. He's got a good point, right? Even more importantly, George's participation in sex ed revealed to all of us that disabled people deal with the same things other people go through too. They can be parents, sons, or daughters, people going through relationship issues or economic problems, and also people with sexual desires. People with disabilities, they you know, they, they go through all the things that Rick, like, you know, the able-bodied community go through. Robinson is eager to keep showing that to the world, and he shows this positive attitude even when it comes to his injury. For example, he celebrates the anniversary of his trauma, in a way. Every year on July 27th, he posts a photo of himself in a hospital bed and captions it with something funny. 
like happy sixth anniversary to sitting down more regularly. That's what we call making lemonade out of lemons. And for other disabled people who want to pursue acting, George has an awesome piece of advice. There's nothing holding you back once you take that plunge. Throw yourself into it. Just do it. Just do it. How inspiring. If you liked this video, watch another one we made about the struggles other sex education actors faced on the set. And stay awesome!